Welcome! This video is for GetZooks members. It explains how they can use the store building process and place those stores that they build into a cyber mall for use in our social affiliate marketing system. Now many times it's much easier to understand something when you can take a look at the end result. And the end result for us is going to be step three having stores that we've made and placing them into our malls. Let's take a look at what a mall looks like. Here's a sample of a mall. In step one, I uploaded and cropped this image to be 260 pixels high. We'll show you how to do that. In step two, I put in a link with my direct affiliate marketing code for borders.com. Let's close this window out. In Planet Forward, I actually used a storefront graphic provided by GetZooks and their vendor link. I did not need a link of my own. So these are the two kinds of stores that we're now going to look at building. As you can see, there's two parts to the store building process. One is, what does your graphic look like, your storefront? And then secondly, where does it go when somebody clicks on it? Let's go and look at step one first, the storefront graphics you have multiple options you can either create your very own storefront image using our base designs and putting your own images into stores and creating signage there are special videos in the members forum that show you exactly how to use the image generator but if you don't want to build a storefront of your own you can simply upload an image from your computer just make sure that it's 260 pixels tall so that it works best with our system. If for any reason you have a graphic but it's not 260 pixels high, simply click here. It'll open this window where you can then browse in your computer, pick any picture, upload and resize the image. Once you're done, you want to right click on the image, save the image as, in this case I'm going to put it here, I'm going to call it my store baby and now I have it stored in my computer at 260 pixels high so I can upload it now from my computer I come back I simply click upload it's going to open the same one here's store baby and I upload store baby to the system now store baby is available to me when I go to step two as an image from my image manager. Let's go to step number two. In step two of your store creator you're going to assign a link. So first you need to click on create a new store. Let's give it a name. I'm calling it store baby and I want to select an image from my personal manager. I have a choice. If I don't have images or I haven't uploaded any GetZooks provides you images from the company library. We'll come over to the company library for a moment and take a look at some of the graphics in here. So for Store Baby, I would probably use Baby Earth instead if I hadn't uploaded my own image that I wanted to use. So I'm not going to select one of these pre-made stores. Actually, I just did. So let me do this. I'm going to reselect now from my storefront manager. I'm going to come down and look for my picture. Ah, there it is. There's my store baby. I'm going to select that. That is now the image. Now I have my choice. I can either put in a URL to anywhere in the internet that I want this image to go to, or I can click a made to go vendor store. I already looked one up. That was um, Earth Baby. So what I'm going to do is actually come right down the list here and I come right to Baby Earth. I select Baby Earth and now what I've created is a store. I add the store because I have a graphic and I have a place that it links to. If I come down my list here in my store manager then I'm gonna find my Baby Earth in here. And radio, radio, store one, store baby. Very good. The next step would be to add Store Baby to my mall. That's done in step three. We'll look at step three in the next video, Making Malls.